Hello guys, welcome to my channel and we will be talking about a drama movie called Melissa P. On the last day of school, Melissa, a 15-year-old girl, and her friend Manuela get invited to a pool party at Danielle's house. A wealthy classmate Melissa has a crush on. Melissa admires her body, while her mother calls her to get dressed for school. Melissa lives with her mother, Daria, and her smoking grandmother, Elvira. Melissa is almost caught by her mother, but she manages to regain composure after her mother gets distracted. Later that day, Melissa and Manuela attend the party, even though Melissa is shy to enter the house and starts to question why she is there. Danielle meets them and they introduce themselves. Melissa changes to her trunk while watching the boys push a girl into the pool and she sits beside the pool soon after. Danielle pushes her into the pool, thinking that she can swim but Manuela tells him that she cannot, prompting him to save her. Danielle gives her a tour of the coolest part of the garden and tells her that he can teach her how to swim. She tells him that her father works as an oil engineer on a platform in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Danielle asks if she has a boyfriend and starts touching her sexually. He asks her to satisfy him orally, and although Melissa is shocked, she reluctantly agrees. After the ordeal, he tells her that she might get to kiss him on his mouth next time. Despite all that transpired, Melissa's love for Danielle grew stronger and she eagerly awaited his call throughout the summer. It's the first day at school after summer and Melissa tries to get Danielle's attention even though Manuela thinks that he doesn't care about her. A new student, Marco De Angelis, arrives at school late, making the teacher punish him. Everyone in class starts talking about him, but Melissa keeps thinking about Danielle. Melissa seems to be free with her grandmother but doesn't want to be seen unclad by her mother. While Melissa speaks with her father on the phone, Daria tells Elvira to always use her bathroom and not Melissa's. She also tells her not to smoke in the bathroom. Melissa continues to search for Danielle as her body wants him more and she finally sees him at the school gym but doesn't talk to him. Soon after, Melissa finds out that Danielle is in a bar, and she decides to go with Manuela, who believes that she needs the courage to talk to him. Danielle spots her and he asks her to come with him and he has something to tell her. Melissa agrees, he takes her to his house and they become intimate. Danielle humiliates her for allowing him to make love to her after realizing that she is a virgin and he leaves her. She then promises to think of only her pleasure, while treating guys badly as she writes in her diary. She also promises not to care about anyone's feelings but her own. Afterward, Daria sends Elvira to a nursing home due to her heart condition. And this makes Melissa angry as Daria didn't consult her before making the decision and Melissa thinks that she means nothing to Daria. Melissa is sad about losing her grandmother but Elvira tells her that nothing will change between them and asks her to come to visit. On getting home, Melissa resents her mother more now for sending Elvira away and states that her father would not have taken Elvira away. At night, Manuela texts Melissa, informing her that she has a crush on Marco, but Melissa ignores her and has her bath. She pleases herself in the bathtub, while her mother waits for her in the dining room. Later on, it is Melissa's birthday, and she refuses to open Daria's present. After class, Manuela asks her if she is still thinking about Danielle, and says that she would never let a girl like her get away if she was a boy. They go to a cafe and Melissa spots a man, who has an interest in her. She leads the man on and leaves when he tries to touch her. On their way, she tells Manuela that nobody will ever hurt her again, although she continues to feel sad and cuts herself with a blade. Melissa is sad that her father isn't coming for Christmas but Elvira comes home and Melissa is happy to see her. Elvira notices a cut on Melissa's face and tells Daria that Melissa is going through a difficult time. However, Daria believes that Melissa is still a child but Elvira tells her to keep a closer eye on her, but Daria shuts her down. Elvira takes Melissa to her room, shows a younger picture of hers, and starts to brush her hair. She tells her a story about her boyfriend when she was younger. The guy only understood her body and not her, and then he left one day without notice, almost making her commit suicide. Elvira explains that she later found herself while brushing her hair in front of a mirror. Another year has begun and Melissa promises to find love and pleasure, tenderness and passion. While Melissa browses her computer, she receives a call from Danielle. Danielle tells her that he missed her and asks her to come over to his place to make love, much better than the last time as he has a surprise for her. Melissa agrees and goes to his house but finds out that the surprise is Arnaldo, Danielle's friend, as he wants to engage her in a threesome. Melissa believes that he wants to be with her and leaves in anger but returns when Danielle asks her not to be a baby. Melissa turns the situation around to explore her sexuality as he dominates them. The next day, she tells Manuela about the incident and says that she liked it. Manuela tells her that what she's doing is wrong as the guys will go around and tell everyone what happened, but Melissa doesn't care. She says that Manuela does not understand her as she is going to be intimate with any guy who comes along. Sometime after, Melissa finds a sex chat group online, where she's free to say whatever comes to her mind. Later on, during spring, the students go to a museum, they all talk about Melissa's escapades with Arnaldo and Danielle, but she ignores them, as she wants to be free. Melissa makes out with the custodian of the museum and writes it in her diary again. One day, her diary finds its way to a classmate's hand, who reads the content to everyone in the class, including Manuela. 
she blames Manuela and questions her friendship for allowing the girl to read her diary. Melissa cries and buys new clothes to prove to them that she has the courage to be herself. She also decides to stop being friends with Manuela and declines her calls. Melissa goes to visit her grandmother but finds her being consoled by another man. She smiles as she is happy for her but wonders if anyone will hold her with so much passion as her grandmother is being held. The next day, Manuela offers to give her a ride to school but Melissa rejects her offer and walks to school. While Manuela tries to apologize to her, Marco stares at Melissa, because has a crush on her. Her phone rings and Marco uses the opportunity to talk to her. Melissa receives a call from Arnaldo and she meets him. He blindfolds her and takes her to a basement, where she reluctantly pleasures him alongside four other boys. She returns home and combs her hair 100 times in front of the mirror, just like her grandmother did then but it didn't work for her as it doesn't take away her pain. The following morning at school, she sees a provocative drawing with her name on it, which makes her sad. She later tells her online sex chatter about her experience with the five boys and the man tells her to come over to his place. While she leaves to meet the man, Daria returns home and finds out that she isn't at home. She finds her diary in her room and reads its contents, which saddens her. She tries to call her but Melissa ignores her call. However, Daria rushes to the nursing home as she receives a call that Elvira is sick. Meanwhile, Melissa finds out that the man enjoys being whipped and asks her to pick a box of items. The man returns and Melissa whips him but manages to escape when the man tries to return the favor. At the nursing home, Daria is informed that Elvira is dead, while Melissa runs to the nursing home to meet Elvira. Melissa is surprised to see Daria in her room and asks for her grandmother. Daria tells her that she is dead and she comforts her while she cries. Melissa lights a cigarette in honor of her grandmother and Daria apologizes for not being there for her, unlike Elvira. She asks if all that Melissa wrote in her diary is true, and Melissa says yes. They share a tearful hug as Daria apologizes for being ignorant, and she promises to be there for her. On the last day at school, Melissa and Manuela restore their friendship. Manuela tells her that she called when she heard about Elvira but did not have the courage to talk to her. Elsewhere, Arnaldo confronts Danielle for making out with his girlfriend and slaps him on his face when Danielle calls her names. Melissa finds out that she failed and Marco finally talks to her. Marco tells her that he failed too, but he will be leaving for art school, and he shows her all his drawings of her. He asks her to pose and he sketches her for the last time. They share a hug and a kiss, while Danielle watches them. Immediately after, Danielle invites her to his party, trying to convince her using manipulative words, but Melissa does not have feelings for him again. Melissa attends the party and proves to the students that she had changed despite everyone making out, including Manuela. Melissa jumps into the sea while everyone looks in awe, but she emerges with a smile on her face as she can swim now. Melissa decides to leave town and visit her father. Daria and Melissa go to drop flowers at Elvira's grave and they share a hug, finally sharing a strong bond. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time with another chilling story.